around, let's see if this is going to work in our setting before you then uh, make a, a larger commitment and scale that up without any, any real worry from a capital investment point of view, which I guess is an important point for the finance director. Right, I did promise, uh, and uh, this uh, was, uh, I never mentioned about uh, case studies. I've got three examples I'd like to run past you, uh, which uh, uh, are things that uh, we've been involved in recently. Uh, and these are um, quite diverse examples as well. So the first one is in the financial sector, uh, a, a company called Hatfield Phillips. They work in what's called commercially mortgage-backed financial securities, which means they look after loans, big complex loans for uh, office blocks and shopping malls and those types of things. Uh, the bits that the banks find quite difficult to do. Uh, and uh, I'll, I'll talk a bit about that project. Um, there's also a project um, for an uh, international automotive retailer, which I cannot mention who they are. Uh, but a uh, very interesting story there around putting in place a global intranet, which was kind of a top-down and bottom-up sharing of information. And I'll mention that as well. And finally, a uh, kind of small-scale project, starting very small and showing how uh, these things can very quickly gain momentum. I'm not going to go through all of that, but I'll just give, I'll pick out the kind of the bones from it. So I feel Phillips. Uh, initially, their their tracking was run on a spreadsheet, and I guess all our organisations use spreadsheets probably for things that they shouldn't be used for. Uh, but uh, this was kind of used for all of the activities that were required around uh, tracking and, uh, and managing the loan. Uh, and clearly, a spreadsheet, single user, it can get corrupted. Uh, there's all sorts of issues around it. Uh, so they wanted to make that a multi-user environment, and um, they decided to use Dynamic CRM to do that with, uh, with some customization, typically called XRM these days, using CRM as a platform for building other types of uh, solution on top. Uh, and uh, the, the results around that were, were very much, I guess the key things that this, this type of technology brought were it's very quick to put in place. The platform was already there, some customizations, and off they go. Uh, and that was de deployed very quickly in a space of a few months. And what it meant is that then people were sharing information along the process and what was happening otherwise was everyone was ringing around everyone to find out what, uh, whether a particular job had been done or not. Uh, and uh, a couple of in interesting challenges around the usual thing around any of these projects, it's quite difficult to get people who understand the business, who need to be involved in making that uh, change of working practice to be involved in the process because they've got a job to do already. And uh, as one of my favorite project manager says, you know, you ask him, who do you want to speak to in the project? He says, find me the busiest people, and they're the ones that we need involved in, proje in the project, because they know what's going on. They're connected with different parts of the business. A second example around uh, automotive retailer, um, old intranet, um, they, under their retailer uh, organization, have a lot of brands in terms of uh, dealership brands. Uh, and so they had a fragmentation of information held in different forms and in different, uh, uh, in different websites and wanted to bring this together. The main reason was to try to push information down to the organization so everyone got, had a consistent view uh, of uh, what the organization was doing. But as importantly also to push information up. So you know, one example was to have an ideas forum. And uh, give an, you know, one of the ideas that came up in the business was uh, if those little paper mats they use in cars, you know, when, when you're going for a, a, take your car for a service, if they're clean, they could reuse them again. This was a guy's idea who was in the workshop. So reuse the clean mats, the paper mats. Uh, and they did a calculation of what that saved them as an organization. It was hundreds of thousands just for a simple little idea like that. Uh, and it's those sort of ideas that they're looking to capture and then percolate up and across through into the business uh, to see if they can improve the practices. Uh, they put videos online to, you know, video, video training around um, best practices and things that they're doing in different parts of the organization. Uh, and a way to be able to ask the top man or top person in their area of the business any particular question. So create that connectivity in the business that wasn't there. Uh, so that's uh, been rolled out to 14,000 users worldwide. Uh, done in the space of uh, the chief exec wanted it in three months. Um, it was actually um, available within five months and live in six. So... Uh, it's, uh, you know, it, the, the results can be done very quickly because you don't need to obviously build a platform yourself. It's already there. Uh, and the, um, one of the lessons learned from, uh, from, from the project was really to keep the scope very tight. Keep, the, um, keep people's expectations um, 
uh, as realistic as possible and then deliver other functionality on top of that. And the training is really important. You think, well, it's a web browser. Everyone knows how to use a web browser. You just click on anything blue underlined and it takes you somewhere. Uh, but it, you, you know, it's, um, it's important if, you, if someone is responsible, let's say, for an area of a site and they can create sites and they can administer and they can they change sites, can also delete sites. They need to understand that that responsibility they've got uh, is, uh, it, it is supported by the training they need to, uh, to make sure they can uh, administer that properly. The last one I have to throw in, I did promise I'd come in on time, was um, to uh, a very small project we did. Um, it was um, an IT director that for years had been trying to put in place uh, a, a CRM system uh, to share leads between different parts of the business. Uh, and, uh, all, and never really been able to get the investment for it. And, uh, and so they, they started off with a very small scale pilot around using CRM to share leads and share customer intelligence across their business. This is UK, uh, US, France, uh, and Netherlands. And very quickly it grew to uh, 30 users within a space of a few months uh, across four countries. And I spoke with the IT director recently and uh, it is, his, his statement was, you know, we've, we've done CRM by stealth. You know, this information, we wouldn't have never put this, we wouldn't have been able to put this infrastructure in place before. Uh, and because we could start small, I could convince the, uh, the exec team that this was something that's worth doing uh, and get to a point where we can start to, uh, to prove the value of doing it. Uh, and whilst he thinks it's expensive, yeah. everyone would like something for a little less cost, uh, it's something that allows him now to provide that service across his business where he couldn't do that before. That's me done. Uh, I guess everyone's tired and emotional, so I didn't want to keep it to, uh, to, to a long slot. Uh, but I will take any questions if, if you have any. Hello, yes. Uh, w there are connectors for those types of things, LinkedIn, Twitter. Um, we've seen customers using, quite interestingly, using Twitter as a way of being able to, uh, say, send out a press release around a product launch or, or some uh, change in the business, and then you track the Twitter that happens around that. And you may then, I, you know, part of that conversation, but track that conversation to see what's been generated from the, the press release. So those types of things are quite useful. Absolutely. So you can then start to, you know, once that conversation gets to a point, we say that now is a, an inquiry. So we can bring that in as an inquiry and then track that through into an opportunity and, uh, and et cetera. So it's, a, you know, it's seen as being, it's kind of early days as yet, but it's seen as being a, a way of being able to, um, another source of potential inquiries. Yes. Um, r rather than talk about any particular you know, religions of technology. Um, I, I think the, certainly our, what we've seen in our business is once you bring in the messenger type presence technology yeah, on top of your email and across other things that you're doing as well, uh, that you know, opens up a new world. And I guess many people are already using those sort of technologies. Yeah, but that, that kind of a, you know, is the... Um, what I would describe as a Sky Plus experience. You know, it's kind of a new, <laughs> new, a new way of watching television, yeah? Uh, and, uh, you know, you see, you know, I've been on, on, on calls where you've got the, the call, conference call going on, and behind the scenes you've got the, the real conversation going on on, the, uh, on, on link or, or whatever you use as your messenger facility. Yeah, I think scale is a key thing. Yeah, so it's about saying I can start small or if I, if I need to, and I can cost it that way. So I don't need to invest in a cap big capital expense at the start. Uh, so that is very important. Um, I think the other aspect of it is, you know, from my satellite picture, is the fact that it is outside of your organization. And so it means that in some ways it can be easier to connect with other people outside your organization. Yeah, you know, they're just another user effectively on that system. Um, 
I'd be interested in throwing that out to the audience. I'll tell you, you know, my, my experience of it. I mean, we, we use it, um, and to be honest with you, in our organisation, bandwidth is an issue. I don't know if that's true of lots of organisations, but bandwidth could be an issue if you don't want to do that properly. Um, we've used a, a range of technologies to, you know, to, um, to try to do this. But I think the, you, you've kind of got to take the networking piece in a hand in hand with that to make sure it works properly. And clearly, you know, that's okay if you're working internally, but if you're working with third parties, they're going to have the same issue as well. I mean, I don't know if anyone would like to comment on, on that, may, may have more experience than I on that. No? Okay. It's okay. Any other questions? Well, thank you very much. I'll take my comedy tie off now and uh, enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Thank you.